Fellow people who grew up poor, <laughs> listen, okay? <laughs> listen, when I was growing up, my family had this idea that a savings account would produce a lot of interest, okay? And maybe at that time it did. But let's talk about what that means and how that works for a second. So, in a bank savings account, you deposit your money into the savings account. They loan that money out to people at a certain interest rate. They then cut that interest rate into two pieces. One piece they keep for themselves, and another piece they pay you as the interest rate on the savings account. Okay? That's very dumbed down, and maybe I'm wrong. Correct me in the comments. But that is how a savings account works. All right? And now, savings accounts, now that I'm 30 years older and... Savings accounts don't produce infinite money. Yes, you put it in the bank and the interest, you live off of it. That's not a thing. That's not a thing anymore. Now we're in these times where a savings account doesn't really have that. I, I think the one that we have at a bank that uh, we bank with is, I don't even know off the top of my head, because it's so ridiculously low. It's less than 1% on the savings account itself. Not a checking account, savings account. Notice how I do that, because on the UI for the bank, checking's up top, savings is down low. Okay, so hear me out, <laughs> fellow previously or possibly still poor people. Listen, there's a better way to save up your money than a savings account, okay? And there's multiple options. There's a DIY option, and there's a more guided option, and those all split into different branches, okay? You want to look into a high yield savings account. You want to look into money market funds. If you and those are the guided options over here. Okay, go do your research. Go figure out what those things are. Go see what's right for you. Talk to your bank or credit union, preferably credit union. Talk to them about what your options are, how you can set these things up, because they are designed to pay a higher interest rate based on the savings you have in the bank. Okay, so if you're sitting on cash. We all know that inflation bad, okay? Great. If it's just in a savings account, then that value is going down over time due to that terrible, terrible inflation. Absolutely. Yeah. A high yield savings account at this time, this is 2024 that we're recording, or a money market fund is producing a higher percentage than that savings account. Is it higher than the rate of inflation? Who knows at this time? But it's a better return on your cash if you're just sitting on it. Okay, a DIY option for this, and it's, please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong here, a DIY solution to a money market fund and to a high yield savings account is to invest directly in short term government treasuries. Okay, and there's a plethora of ways to do that. Okay, you can go to uh, Treasury Direct. Again, all this stuff, you need to look it up yourself. Don't listen to me. I'm, I'm a fellow previously poor person who has no idea what he's talking about. Don't listen to people on the internet for financial advice, ever. Do it yourself. All that said, these government treasuries are what is fueling the money market accounts and the high yield savings accounts. Okay, and right now, short term treasuries are yielding five and change percent. Okay, so one way to do that is going to Treasury Direct. I think it's .gov. Again, look it up. And you can purchase those yourself and create a what's called a bond ladder. So you lock up that money when you put it into savings. Don't sell it. Okay? It's something like a three-month duration. You can choose the duration. And you give the government X amount of dollars. And they pay you five and change percent on that. And then at the end of that duration of the bond, they give you your money back. It's a savings account with higher interest. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, another way to do that is through different ETF products. Uh, the two that come to mind right now is uh, iShares SGOV, S-G-O-V, and uh, Wisdom Trees USFR. You look at them, they're basically uh, one to one copy, copy of each other. You can prefer one or the other. And you, you go open up a brokerage account somewhere, it's free depending on where you go and how you do it. But there's a plethora of ways to do that, both on the internet and on your phone. And when you transfer money into that brokerage, you buy SGOV or USFR, and you just hold it till you need the cash. And then you sell it, 
and you transfer the money back to your bank and it's there. Don't just sit on cash. Don't, don't put it in a savings account. I was always raised to think like that's how you invest. You put it in a savings account and then you can retire one day. I, maybe I'm completely moronic and have no idea what I'm talking about. Tell me below. That's, that's great. But as of right now, July 2024, fellow previously poor people, don't just sit on the cash if you're saving it up. Go figure out what a high-yield savings account is, or a money market fund, or SGOV, or USFR. Pick your path, okay? And each month that you're putting some money away in the bank, get a little interest on it. 5%'s not half bad. Cash isn't trash right now. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Again, not investment advice. Holy God, don't listen to me. <laughs> but go look into this yourself and stop listening to your ancestors who had wisdom from another time, who were right in a lot of ways. But they're not right today. And that's okay. Learn something new. Go figure out what you're doing with your savings. And good luck. You'll be fine after you do your own research. Stay safe out there. Have a good day.